Hello buddy, this is Nuptastic, and today we have a TSM-3 inscription guide. Now, I go through a restock, and then in the end, in about the second half of the video, go through the full setup for inscription inside your TSM. All your settings, and everything you need to know to get up and running and making gold with inscription. Okay, let's open our mailbox up and see if, uh, see what we have. Alright, we got a full 50 of, uh, of sold auctions, so let's clean this out and see what it adds up to be. Looks like it'll be a good sum. Alright, as you can see, it's continuing out. There's another two grand in there, so looks like our haul is going to be somewhere around five grand for, uh, Five grand for the uh, restock. Let's see. Uh, the total was fifty nine. Oh, it's six grand. So it's not a bad overhaul. I'm gonna do a cancel and uh, and repost to um, see where we stand with what glyphs I need to make. Not sure how many we're gonna undercut or we're gonna have to. Uh, Cancel out it'll probably, I mean, it'll probably be quite a few. But, uh, I didn't restock, uh, this is pretty late in the day today, and I didn't, I posted uh, yesterday night, so this is about a 24 hour repost. Usually I try to do, come back and, and manage this about every, you know, 8 to 10 hours or so. I don't usually like to let it go this far without, uh, uh without throwing some restock into it. Alright, we got 152 options to cancel. Then again, if you have your keybinds with uh, TSM3, this is, you can just uh, hold down your keybind or roll your mouse wheel and it will, it will cancel them actions quick as can be. Alright, once you have all your options canceled, you run over your mailbox and let's start to retrieve these book guys. Okay, we're back at the auction house. Let's post up all the glyphs we just collected from the mail so we can see what we have to craft to restock. Okay, open up your uh, crafting window and you hit your TSM groups and you hit restock, select groups. Alright, I'm going to make up the glyphs that I have inks on hand for. And then we'll see where we stand from there. Open up your gathering tab, and I've clicked vendor trade for everything because I have about 150 inks on hand. So let's head over to the vendor, buy some inks, and we'll be done. I don't hit buy vendor items, but sometimes, as you notice, like it did today, Celestial Link didn't buy. I'm not quite sure if there's a bug. Sometimes it leaves one op, one thing does not buy, and you'll have to manually queue and buy that one individual. Let's, let's find her here, and we'll just buy it manually. There we go. Now let's make these inks, and then we'll, we'll get done. Let's make these gloves, I mean. Okay, we're back at the auction house. Let's post up what we just made, and then we will dive into the TSM settings and exactly how I have TSM inscription set up and how I make a profit with it. First we open up our, our inscription here and uh, or we open up our TSM and we go down here and enchanting I basically first of all I'm not enchanting well I uh, Wrong group. We're looking for inscription. Okay, inscription is very easy to set up. Basically, cards. The only items I have in cards is a mysterious fortune card. 
these can sell for sometimes a very good profit like currently today on my server they're selling for 24 gold a piece they take roughly three gold to make one so for every one you make you know you, there's a good hefty profit to, to, to be made I, uh, I make them in batches of 50 uh, I have clearance items which uh, are basically the items that uh, you probably made when you leveled your inscription and just to get rid of them because uh, I mean some of these could actually sell for for good money 15 20 gold and, and if you combine the decks you know but I just uh, it's not worth it to me then I make one glyph one one group and I just put all the glyphs in it now I did previously in another profile well, on TSM 2 I separated them by class and I had you know like a, a death knight and a druid and a and a rogue and I separated them all but I found that there's a there's no real reason to do that and then I have Warlord's Draenor which uh, basically is just your uh, your tarot's and your cards that you've learned in your rerolls I have rerolls in one group just the crystal rerolls because uh, uh, I make uh, these in batches of 10. They can actually sell for good profits, and that's for all professions. And then I have the upgrade crystals, which uh, these are here, but I, I manually look them up when I go to make one. And then I have weapons, which I don't let it queue automatically. I, I, I manually make them. Now, uh, I... Uh, this is a fairly new uh, inscription, so I don't have all the, uh, the new Warlord's Drainer stuff yet. But uh, then uh, if you go over here, you basically have your, your auctioning uh, tab and your operation. Uh, uh, Rerolls, I use the same reroll operation for all my, uh, my rerolls, whether it's blacksmithing, jewel crafting, uh, enchanting, or, or engineering. Okay. Basically, I make 10 of them, I post them 48 hours, stacks of one, undercut by uh, a penny. A bid, uh, we're going to change bid to 98% just to or nine, 90 97 percent just because when there's two people with the same price whoever has the lowest bid is listed first okay my minimum price is 70 70 percent of the crafting value then my maximum price is three thousand percent of the D, uh, dbm market value but uh that's just so in case somebody posts them up real high then uh then mine won't undercut them the normal price is just 100 percent dbm market Okay, if they're below the minimum, I post it normal. If they're above the, my maximum, which they shouldn't be, I'll post it maximum. But uh, some items, when you run into transmog armor and stuff, you have to have a ceiling on your price. Otherwise, uh, you will tend to uh, get people to post stuff for much too high, okay? For the crafting thing, okay, I have uh, basically the same thing. One one uh, operation for all my rerolls. It's crafting 100% crafting plus 20 gold so if I will not make a hundred percent of the crafting value plus 20 gold will make them minimum restock of five maximum restock is our minimum restock of one maximum restock we're gonna put that at 10 I uh, thought that was 10 already sorry if I sound a little stuffy I got a bit of a cold okay my, my inscription is 100% crafting oh this is the inscription crystals Okay, this is for the uh, reroll. It's 100% crafting plus 500 gold. Uh, max restock is three, but uh, I probably won't do those. Uh, you know, minimum restock of one. Now, mysterious fortune cards. I have 100% plus three gold. So basically, I want to make at least an ink is basically five to six gold at the very most. Some days it's down as three. So plus three gold. I want to. That's to, that's to make sure it doesn't get too low. So most days uh, I will not make them if the cards drop low, like say nine gold. But uh, like I said today, they're hovering pretty nice. And I make fifty of them at a time. Okay, minimum restock of fifty. So if you sell five, it'll requeue up five. Excuse me. And here is my glyph setting: one hundred percent crafting plus twenty gold. Okay, minimum restock of one, max restock of one. Okay. Now, for some reason, I still have, from day to day, uh, certain glyphs will queue, even though I already have one in the auction house, and so I'll end up with two, three glyphs sometimes of the same thing. That's why for posting, I have it set at five, so it'll make sure it posts them all up, okay? 
like uh, auctioning for glyphs. I just didn't show you that. Glyphs, auctioning. Well, first of all, I had glyph clearance. This uh, was what I used for. Uh, I used this for the clearance part, like the uh, leveling stuff to get rid of. Uh, I use a 50% DBM market, 100% value, and I just get rid of those, post them up 10 at a time. But my glyphs, here is the, the post value for my glyph. One stack, post cap of five, so I've never usually have a more than five. Mid percent, 95%. Minimum goal of 25 gold. So none of my glyphs will post be 20, below 25 gold, just because um, I don't want to make, I don't like the, the nine dollar glyphs or whatever I'll raise them up the maximum price is uh, is four thousand percent DBM market that's just because everyone else also may post a glyph 15 16 or in cold and I want to follow them up my normal price like you say if you uh, if a glyph posts at 19 gold my minimum is 25 so it will post at 349 now I'm on uh, on my server when I first got here no glyphs were above like 150 now, by me setting a normal price, first I said at 199, then it was 249. I have got the other glyph people to bring their price, their normal prices, up. Well, right now we're doing it at the 340. So there's several other glyph guys who have followed me up and are now, uh, we're making more gold at this. So uh, uh, I don't have cancels. I mean, I mean, I don't have a cancel set up. I don't have any relationships or anything. But, uh, or mailing or vendoring. I don't have any of that, those, those set up, okay? So those are my basic setups for, for TSM for uh, inscription. So you would come over here and you'd, you know, hit restock and there it is. But uh, that's uh, pretty much where we stand. Um, uh, if you uh, got any questions or, or, or anything, make sure you... Uh, you comment, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll answer them and, and help you set up in, your in inscription so it, it works the best. Now, um, sometimes when you first set it up, you make sure you have to scan the auction house. I have the uh, Fayscale Masker desktop app, so it updates through the API uh, from Blizzard every uh, 10 or 15 minutes. I forget what it is, so I get up to date uh, prices constantly. But I also have, like, see, here's a glyph on my back. I also have uh, uh, daily medians and prices, so I can I can see where it's at. Like this glyph right here, I have six in one auction house. For some reason, this glyph keeps keeps queuing for me, and it sells for about 100 gold. So, uh, if if you run into a problem with a certain glyph keeps queuing and you have a bunch of them, you could go in there and remove that glyph for a while. But you'll have to remember to add it back in after a while. So I don't do it. I mean. If, uh, usually if it keeps making for a little bit, I mean, they're, they're so cheap. I'll just go throw them in my guild bank or my, the guild that this tune is in in her guild bank. So that way it kind of starts fresh. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.